Zhrai scratched beneath his beak again. As he looked over the... Ballastics report? The human had brought back. It threw shadows more than light on the investigation. I thought you knew what kind of weapon it was, human. I thought I did too. The bullet matches small caliber weapons from Earth, but the rifle and casing must be specific to this planet. The report suggests the bullet was able to travel faster and further than its Earth contemporary could. I chalked that up to lower gravity and thinner atmosphere, but the experts think there was an extra kick to the powder used to shoot it. Zhrai nodded, pretending to understand most of what the human had said. Bullets were certainly very alien in their mechanics, but he understood projectile weaponry well enough. Evidently, this projectile harnessed explosives to be physically thrown at great speeds. The human had assured them that the bullet was dangerous to their species, but easily stopped with the right countermeasures. I asked them to run a material analysis, the human continued, to see if they could find traces of powder or maybe something that could tell us where the bullet came from. Zhrai flipped to the next page. It looked equally as confusing to him as the first. I'm out of my depth on bullet investigations, human. Can you summarize for me? Right, sorry. We can check bullets for a few clues. It's pretty rare to get a bullet that isn't deformed by contact with the target, so we couldn't get a fingerprint. Zrai tilted his head inquisitively, but Targ nodded along, evidently aware of fingerprints. The human continued. I was hoping there would be traces of whatever special powder they used on the back of the bullet. If there was, it was contaminated. They came up with blood, bone, and some kind of mud. I assume you use local resources for that plaster you build with? Yes, Tark replied. We use a plaster formed from the soil here. It's easy to shape and lightweight. The permanent structures are built from resources traded for with your human settlement, though. They're built on long stilts to reach bedrock since the weight causes them to sink into the ground. It's caused a couple tremors around here. Our colony architect was supposed to look into it, but... The human bowed his head for a moment. He was the first victim, right? And a friend, Tark said his tentacles coiling angrily for a moment. Did his scene look about the same? The human inquired, pulling out a notepad. It doesn't matter what species you are, Dry mused. Some things are universal to cops. He was stood in front of one of the permanent buildings. No hole in the wall that we saw. We didn't know to look for a bullet, though. Targ read off his own notes. The human scratched at his chin for a moment. The first gesture it had done that Dry could relate to. I bet that bullet shattered. All the same, it can't hurt to look for it to make sure it's a match. Two different bullets. The human caught Rai's eye. Could mean two different shooters. The trio, relieved of the liaison officer, departed for the first crime scene. Targ led the way. He was all too familiar with the location, with Rai right behind. The human had to walk with halting half steps to avoid outpacing them. Each step sunk his foot ankle deep into the soil. You guys don't pave your roads or floors? He said it as a fact, but the question lingered all the same. Soil is too soft, Shry replied. We'd have to pave it over with three times as much material to deal with the sinking problem, or buy more stills from the human colony. Besides, the grass is incredibly soft and it rarely rains. All our vehicles here use levitation too. No much point in paving. The human nodded, extracting a foot from the earth again. They reached their first scene in relative silence, each detective considering their theories before voicing them. The scene had been thoroughly documented at the time, but had been cleaned since then. A small bouquet of flowers and a picture of the former architect was all that remained of the incident. The location itself was fairly remote. The architect, Rigby, was evidently looking into the tremors around the building on the edge of the colony, which had brought him to the backside of the Ansible station. The colony's chief communications building, and one of the first buildings to be built with human construction. The Ansible was heavy and highly temperamental. A permanent structure was required for it. Targ walked to the wall, peering closely, running a few of his tentacles and hands across the surface. The human turned his back to the scene, surveying the landscape. Zhrai began to scour the ground, more to look helpful than in hopes of finding something. Targ grunted first. A little crater here. Doesn't go all the way through. Feels like a bunch of small shrapnel hit here. The bullet probably broke inside the victim, and the part that made it through shattered against that wall. The human nodded. Any unusual fragments found in the autopsy? 
Now that you mention it, Tark responded, there was some foreign metal pieces. You think this stinger broke a bit inside Grippy? Maybe. I don't mean to be insensitive, but is your skeletal structure denser than dry's? I assume dry. Your people have hollow bones to facilitate flight. Tark, your people seem a bit meatier. Yes, human, Dry said. Then my people cannot fly on this planet. The atmosphere is too thin to get lift, and Tark's people have no skeletons, only a cartilage spine of sorts. The rest is muscles and water, and organs, of course. Bigsby was a denser target than the latest victim, and he stood against a solid wall. I don't think we'll get enough of a bullet for the boys in ballistics to work with. I can see the same hill from here. It's a good deal farther, out of range, I would have guessed. But it's the only spot that could see both scenes. Tark shrugged. The human could have moved, he suggested. The human shook its head and pointed back the way they came. A stark trail of deep footprints led back to it. You would have seen evidence of that. I'm going to check out that hill anyway, just to be sure. You two coming? Jirai began the march towards the far hill eagerly. Behind him, he heard Tark grumbling. Tark wasn't much of a hiker. Jirai and the human soon found themselves at the foot of the hill, waiting patiently for Tark. He caught up, panting, and dabbed a sleeve at his glistening forehead. I'm getting too old for this, he heaved. I could... The human hesitated a moment. I could carry you. Tark dismissed the offer with a wave of a tentacle. Lead on, I'll catch up. The human turned to begin up the hill, but was waylaid at the first step. Its leg, all the way up to its hip, sank into the soft terrain. The human's attempts to extract itself saw its arms disappear up to its elbows as well. Eventually, by laying flat to spread out its weight and rolling, it was able to free its leg, the dirt crumbling back into the hole it had made. This could be a problem, it said. I'll go up this way, Dry said. You should try the far side of the hill. I think there is some stone on that side. We'll meet back here with Targ once we're done. The human accepted the proposal and began walking gingerly along the base of the hill. Targ nodded uncharacteristically enthusiastically and sat down heavily at the base of the hill. I hope the human doesn't kill you, he said over his shoulder. No much have you have to do about it anyway. What? Why do you say that? Targ shrugged again. Because it's huge and strong? No, why do you think the human would kill me? Dry asked. I don't know this human. All I do know is that humans can be incredibly vicious, and this human sure knows a lot about these stingers and their supposed user. Maybe he's the killer, and he's trying to remove the detectives working on the case. Dry opened his beat to protest, but shut it silently instead. The human had said itself that this hill was probably not the place where the user fired the stinger, but it wanted to come out here anyway, far away from the rest of the colony. Has the human said anything about suspects? Dry asked Targ. Targ shrugged again. He hasn't said anything about checking out the human colony yet either. Dry scratched his chin thoughtfully again before a voice made him jump. This ain't it, the human said, descending the hill in big steps that have deep furrows in the dirt. The ground is soft enough up there any human would have let some kind of trick. It broke off as his leg plunged into another pit further aside than the first. Human? Dry called cautiously. Have you looked into any of the members of your colony yet? Not yet, it grunted, freeing his leg again. Got a suspect? Targ glanced at Dry. We have a theory, 